All right, this is a toolkit I carry on my road bike. It's just a bag that goes underneath the seat. I got that little license plate at Walmart. Pretty fun. It's got a little bag underneath here that I carry a, what we call scratch, hydration, just an extra one. I've got a front bag as well I carry cliff bars and more scratch and other things. So I like to carry some money. Put that in my bike because you never know when you might need it. And this is a chain breaker. To fix a chain, it breaks a link out and can put one back together. This is my spoke adjuster. I've had this thing for probably 20 years now. Works great. This is a CO2 cartridge. When you buy a CO2, it, it gets so cold when you release it, the air that you have this foam on to protect your fingers from freezing. So I got two bottles, and uh, this is the inflator for it. It's got the little knob here. I could adjust the flow rate, whatever, you know, when I fill it up, I could turn it. And I have my tire levers, and with an old tube that you don't need, I use the rubber for a lot of things. I use it on my wallet. I use it to hold things together, Allen wrenches. Here's a new tube. Like I said in my other video, I always pack a new tube. If I get a flat, I put the new tube in, take the flat tube, roll it up, and then at camp at night, I patch it. If I have two flats in one day, then I'll have to fix it on the road. This is a little inexpensive park uh, patch kit. Here's another uh, multi-purpose tool, different Allen wrenches. They're sort of standard sizes on uh, on bikes. And that's all I pack. And then another long cable that I made myself. I usually use a combination lock on this one. So that's, oh, one thing when you fill up with um, CO2, You'll want to uh, drain the air out of it or release the air out of it back at camp and fill it back up with a pump because CO2 escapes from the, the rubber on the, the tubes and it'll go flat within a day or two. So you release the air and put in pump air and it'll last. I fill my tires weekly, weekly. Every time I go on a ride once a week, I fill up my tires. On my road tires, if it says 110 pounds, I put 75 pounds. I never go over 75 pounds on my road tires, and I don't go over 55 on my mountain bike tires that are converted to road tires. There's no need to pump them so hard that if something happens, they will they will uh, leak on your or not. What is it? Blow up? <laughs> They'll pop. They'll pop if you put too much air. And you hit something hard, normally it'll pop it. So that's my little bag. That's what I carry on my road bike.